This project's main goal was to develop some guidelines for compaction of hot mix and warm mix in the field. We have a problem with compaction efforts being done in the field. Uh, you have different companies uh, using different types of rollers, also uh, on different types of hot mix. Every time uh, we go out and do a different uh, setup for rolling hot mix, the conditions change as far as the operator, the type of roller. We're trying to get a guideline so that the contractor can go out there and have some basis to get a good compaction and get a good product in the long run. They installed a GPS unit on a uh, roller. This would have real-time data that would show the roller's GPS coordinates as it is on the mat. It also had temperature sensors on it so they could tell the temperature of the mat. The roller operator would then know based on experience when the mat was cool enough to actually get on and start doing rolling patterns. It would also track his rolling patterns so he knew how often he rolled over the same area of hot mix. If they needed four or five passes over a stretch of hot mix, it would show via his monitor that's installed on the roller Every time he went over it, it would change a different color. Uh, one pass could be blue, the next pass may change red to yellow, and, and so forth. So he could tell where he was deficient in his rolling pattern, where he might have gone too much. The temperature sensors also allowed him to know when to start and when to back off. Uh, if he got into a spot that was a little hot, the sensors would uh, detect that and he would be able to stop and back up without tearing the mat. I do see it going forward. I've seen the system in the field on a couple of test plots. It worked very well. The contractor that did the work was very impressed with it. He asked to let him do it at a couple other projects. I see this being a slow takeoff, but once it gets going, I, I think it could really go really far really quick. Just being able to know where our problem areas are or if the contractor is having a roller issue as far as his rolling pattern is off or his time that he's getting on the mat is too quick or too late. Just being able to get a better quality mat will be the main thing that TechStop will be able to get out of this and the contractor will as well. It'll save him time and money. If they're saving time and money, they're giving us a better quality job. The traveling public should notice a difference in just the mat itself. It should be smoother. If the mix is compacted correctly, you won't have problem areas pop up as soon, so we won't need to go in there and do another overlay within two or three years or a seal coat. So the life uh, of the pavement will be prolonged. If the public's not being impacted by more orange barrels out there that we already have way too many of, then the town of the public's gonna get there faster, safer, and have a nice smooth ride.